Hey superstars, today I want to share with you, you, <laughs> with you one of my favorite uh, quote graphic apps, okay? This app is called Studio. As you can see, it's right there. It's on the top row. It's the blue, like blue little circle. And Studio, this app is free and it's free for Android phones and also iPhones. So let's get right into one of my all time favorite apps for creating quote graphics, okay? And it creates all kinds of, kinds of graphics too, okay? So let's click on Studio. And it's going to bring up your studio. This is going to be different, you know, for everyone. I do know on the iPhone that this um, particular platform looks different. But the, the procedures and the applications are still the same. So I'm on Android for those of you who don't recognize this. But this is Android. And when you sign into Studio, you are going to be taken to uh, the, the newest and latest posts that people have been posting uh, on studio this is a uh, international app so you're going to see a lot of people from europe uh, a lot of people from uh, i think italy and australia you'll see different examples of quote graphics that they've been able to uh, create so let's click on the home button right now we are in the feed so you'll see nothing but my graphics that i've been able to create using studio you go into different ideas. This is where you get ideas of different overlays to put on your um, on your quote graphics. And as you can see, most of them are all free. I've downloaded a couple. But if you're interested in, so let's say, oh, I don't have any. Travel the world. I want some of those overlays. So I just click the free. I click free. Oops. And you will be able to see some of the travel apps. I mean, travel overlays. I'm sorry. And I like these. And so I am going to hit the free sign. And it's going to purchase. But I'm not purchasing anything because it's free. So now we'll see where that goes in just a second. Now I'm going to click on overlays. And these, everyone that I've already downloaded will have checks by them. And as you can see, there are tons and tons of different overlays. I honestly, guys, don't use a lot of the overlays in my design, but I do know a lot of my clients do use overlays. Um, so alerts, I've never clicked on alerts. Oh, these are uh, uh, people letting you know that they like your graphics that you've created. And then my account lets you know who I am following so this is like a social media platform I don't use it that way but um, you can see again all the graphics that I've created using this particular app and you can see that I've designed 340 of them <laughs> but that's because I love it so much so let's go back to the feed this is where you when you open up the app this is where you're going to land at first the plus signs allows you to create a new graphic. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit the plus sign. And I'm going, you get to a chance to either take a photo, like actually take a photo with it. Or you can select a photo from your gallery. Or you can say no photo or cancel. Okay. So I'm going to do no photo. And this is what it's going to look like. It's plain. It's no graphics. Right now you see a white. And if you want a white background, that is awesome. I tend to like a little color. So what I'm going to do is um, click. That's for adding pictures. I am going to add a color box to it. So you want to go and hit the plus sign that says add overlay. And you scroll down. These are the basics. So these are all the overlays that I've downloaded. But then you go here. And so I'm going to click shape. And I'm going to click a square. Because I want it to fill the whole entire thing. And right now it's just a white box on top of another white box. But you click on the paintbrush down at the bottom. You get all the, these different color choices. So I am going to choose my favorite color. Which is like aqua blue. And I'm going to enlarge it. Okay. So now this is a square 
colored uh, uh, background, okay? And Studio allows you to create these graphics um, in Square, which are all perfect for social media platforms like Instagram and Facebook. All right, so now I want to add some text. I want to say add another overlay. So every layer that you create on top of these graphics are, is considered a overlay. So I'm going to go to the text tool. And look at all of these different fonts. Oh, la, la. I love fonts. And they have tons of them. Okay. I just want to give you a heads up graphic design little tip. Make sure you choose fonts that are really easy to read because, you know, when you choose these little fancy fonts, it can be really hard to read. Like these really cursive fonts. Try to stay away from really, really cursive font. I, I like to mix up the fonts. So we're going to look at some things and see if we can mix the two. So I chose, uh, I think it said quicksand was the font I chose. Uh, so what's the quote I'm going to say? Um... Uh, let's do this. I always use this. <laughs> let's do. Okay. And so you can take your finger and enlarge it. So let's do this. Let's do. And then I'm going to do another overlay. Another thing that I like, sometimes, you know, I might like this font and I don't want to have to go look for it again. You can click on let's do it and there are three little dots. If you click on the three little dots, it allows you to duplicate the layer. And then it gives me the same exact font that I don't have to go search for. And then I can just change out the text. I'm going to put an exclamation point. And it tends to be on top of it. So you have to pull it down and then you can en enlarge it. If I want my text a different color, you go down to the paintbrush, just like I did with the color block. And see, and I can change the color, but I'm going to keep it white. If I don't like the font, you click the, uh, the AB gives you the option to change what you wrote. Just hit the check sign. The, the three little lines gives you the option to change the font. So I'm going to use something like this. Oh, I like that better. And if you want to go back, like I like that font better, to let's do this. I'm going to give a check mark. Hit the double, the three lines. Oh, I can't remember what the font was that I chose. Oh, well. Uh, I'm not going to waste your time. I'm going to just choose. I think I saw something. I'm going to choose this one. I don't. It looks like it, but I don't think it's the exact font. So let's do this. If you want to um, include like um, your web address, um, you can type that in. I'm going to put that dot down the bottom. I'm going to hit check mark and then I'm going to put right here. Now it looks like I moved my box around a little bit. So let's go back to my box and I'm going to move it down because I saw it a little white. And then once you're happy with your graphic, all you have to do is hit the check mark at the top. You can click publish. And you can share it right now. You can put it in Dropbox. You can email it. You can automatically share it to Facebook. You can put it in Instagram. But what I like to do is like I like to save it to my gallery so that I get to choose how I want to uh, share it. Also, make sure you uh, make sure that this add username when sharing is off because if you don't, it'll put the username that you uh, created in your to create this account, it'll put it at the bottom of the picture and that's ugly. So make sure you uncheck that so it doesn't show up. And then once you're done, that you've saved it where you wanted to save it, hit the check mark and you are done. So all you have to do, if you saved it in your gallery, you just go to your picture gallery, if I can get to it. You go to your picture gallery and it should be a folder already saved that says studio. And there it is. And so you can share it, you can download it, you can upload it, you, you know all the rest of the stuff. All right, so guys, that's a quick little training with my favorite, favorite app, which is, um, um, 
studio. All right, you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon.